Crews continue to cut and remove segments of the pipe where the hot spots are, and that work is about halfway done. The sections of pipe that have been treated are on standby, and they will be brought to site at the time that they are needed. Originally, we had planned to take five sections of pipe and physically cut them out, uh, remove uh, the existing concrete pipe and replace it with a steel pipe and weld it in place. Instead of doing that on one section now, we'll go through and we'll put a structural a rebar uh, cage around the existing pipe and pour concrete around that. And that will give us strength uh, to hold that pipe in place. And so it's a in-place uh, repair that we're going to be doing on that. We'd already been planning to this as a contingency, and so we enabled that plan yesterday, and the crews are working on it uh, today. Mm -hmm. The monitoring that we have uh, recently done with the robot in the pipe is inspecting uh, the integrity of the steel within the pipe and identifying hot spots that needed this emergency repair. Uh, what we'll be doing once we've got the pipe repaired and water service, water service restored, as we do that review and understand this incident, uh, we'll be looking at our entire asset management plan and looking at what other inspections we should be doing. Prior to this break, we were planning to inspect this pipe from the Bears Paw water treatment plant uh, to the memorial pump station. That would have happened this fall and this winter. All of us are also very interested in how much this repair job will cost. And I'm happy to say that Calgary Emergency Management Agency has been tracking all of these costs since the day that this happened. And they are consolidating the information as they are receiving it. Any and every city operation that's working on getting Calgary's water system back on track will have uh, accounting to do on this so that we can all have a fulsome picture and so that we can understand if there are emer emergency funds that we can apply for either through the provincial or federal government.